Hello and welcome. Today, I will show you the folder function on Seesaw and how to create various folders for different subjects. Here, I have created a class with a few posts by different students. Now, as you can see, there are a total of 12 items, of which four by Aina, four by Aki, two by Iona, and two by Yazan. Within the class journal right here, it shows all the posts, so that total of 12 posts, right? And if you click on the individual child, you can see the post for that, from that one child. However, if I am doing assessments on writing, it would be much simpler if I only see writing-related posts for that one child. So all I have to do now is go to the side right here on the child and click on the folder icon. And then you can, as you can see, there's one from uh, this one reading post and three writing posts. All I have to do is click on this and it, on, it will only show all the writing related posts. Uh, now, all you see um, is just one child. But what happened if you want to go through all the related posts from your class um, about writing subject? So all I have to do now is go back to the class journal. And then, because this is everything from the whole entire class, now I just select from the folder icon again, and I can look at all the five posts uh, on writing. Click. Okay. And then now I have one from Aina, Aina again, and Yazan, Iona, and Aina. So there's a total of five posts. So to create folders, you simply tap on the folder icon within the class journal. So I just go back and I can just click right here. As you can see, it says manage folder. So I can just go ahead and press that and create a new folder to input the name and choose a color for that folder. Now, there are two ways to put a post into a folder. Okay. So let me get out of here. So there, as I said, there are two ways to put a post into a folder. Either you, as the teacher, uh, can do it, or you let the students do it. Generally, it is much easier to have the kids to do it. Once a child is about to upload a post, uh, Seesaw will ask which folder to place it in. So I'll demonstrate that to you. For example, if I'm a student, uh, I'm asked to make, a, to make a post. So I just go ahead and use this plus green and post the student journal and I have to do something and I have to say good morning and it is done so now I click and I click again oh oh go back sorry now uh let's say I am Aki I go ahead and just select Aki press and then now you can see there are the different folders. So I just select uh, maps and I can just press the green button and it is done. Okay. And right here, you can see the skills. You, uh, as a student, they won't be able to see it. So don't worry about that. That's just for you to tag the skills. And I'll sh demonstrate that to you. I'll make another tutorial in a future episode. All right. So let me get back out. Okay, now I can tap the folder button to see exactly how many um, how many posts has been created in each subject, right? As I said, there's also one special feature which you probably saw earlier. It's right up here. It's private teachers only. Uh, it means that the students will not be able to see what's in it. And how do you want to utilize this folder is really up to you. Okay, to put something in, you simply go and look for a post. Let's, let's just say this one from Aki. And I just go down right here at the bottom and it has the folder button. I click it and I said, I wanna save it in there. So as a, re as a reminder, you can add the item in, but if um, it's been up there for a while, so other people might have seen it. 
of the children or the parents might have already seen it. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you put it in later. So uh, that is about it with the folder function. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment or email me. Uh, and please give a like and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tools. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.